And Koberger has appeared before two different judges in Latah County. Our sister station, Creme 2 News, verified why that is. On May 22nd, murder suspect Brian Koberger appeared before Latah County Judge John Judge. You also have a right of silence. That right is protected under the Idaho and federal constitutions, so you can remain silent throughout these court proceedings, and that can't be held against you in any way. In the courtroom, Koberger was formally charged with the murders of Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin. This was the first time Judge Judge has been involved, leading one viewer to ask, was the judge changed unexpectedly on the Moscow murders case? Let's verify. Our sources are Latah County District Court, the Idaho Supreme Court, and the Prosecuting Attorney's Office for Blaine County, Idaho. First of all, yes, there was a change of judges in the case. In his first court appearance back in January, Koberger appeared before Judge Megan Marshall. She continued to oversee the case up until the grand jury issued its indictment. That's when court documents show Judge Judge took over. The reason for changing judges is due to the way that Idaho courts handle the flow of criminal justice cases. Before the grand jury indictment, the court was preparing for a preliminary hearing to determine if the case should proceed. As the Blaine County prosecutor explains, preliminary hearings are held in the lowest local court and without a jury. In the Moscow murders case, this meant the preliminary hearing was assigned to Judge Marshall in the magistrate court. The Idaho Supreme Court explains that magistrate judges hear less serious criminal matters as well as preliminary hearings. However, once the indictment came through, the preliminary hearing was no longer needed and the trial could proceed. At this point, the case was moved to district court, which Judge John Judge oversees. District court has jurisdiction over criminal cases and also includes a jury. So while there was a judge change, we can verify that no, it was not unexpected and was simply a part of the trial process.